Hello everybody, Root Beer here with the very last question on the Fermat paper from the year 2001. So this is the uh, Grade 11 Multiple Choice Contest. You can uh, click the link in the description down below to go to the University of Waterloo uh, website and get a copy of this contest for yourself. Uh, but hopefully you've already done that and tried the contest because, I mean, it's question 25. We've done all the other questions in previous videos. So we just have this last one to go, uh, to, 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 to go through. Now, if you are just joining me for the first time, you know, welcome. And uh, here's question 25. I'm going to go through it and try it, but of course, try it for yourself by downloading a copy of the contest and, and try that before watching the video. That said, let's get into it with our very last uh, 2001 Fermat question. A square array of dots with 10 rows and 10 columns is given. In fact, it's given over here on the right. Each dot is colored either blue or red. Whenever two dots of the same color are adjacent in the same row or column, they are joined by a line segment of the same color as the dots. So if we've got two red dots side by side, they'll be joined by a red line, that sort of thing. If they are adjacent, but of different colors, then they are joined by a green segment. So we'll have blue segments, red segments, and uh, green segments. In total, there are 52 red dots. There are two red dots at corners, with an additional 16 red dots on the edges of the array. The remainder of the red dots are inside the array. There are 98 green line segments. The number of blue line segments is okay. So we're given some information. We're given uh, some of the red dots. How, we, we know how many red dots there are, and uh, we know so there's 52 of those. Uh, we know there's two at the corners, uh, three at the edges, and then we can uh, so that totals up 18 of our 52 dots. So we can figure out that there are. Let's just grab our calculator. There are going to be 34 red dots inside the array. Okay, So we have enough information to tell how many red dots, although we don't know their placement. My guess is the placement of the dots uh, isn't that critical. And we're also told that there are 98 green line segments. So the second I hear that, I think, oh, green line segments. OK, if I have a green line segment, that means I must have had a red dot and a blue dot. So every green line segment counts from one red dot and one uh, blue dot. And we're asked for the number of blue line segments. Okay, So there's only going to be red line segments, green line segments, and blue line segments. So this is sort of going to be uh, uh, sort of a clever counting argument. So I'm thinking <coughs> to get a red line segment, you need to have a red dot connected to a red dot. So for every red line segment, that accounts for two red dots. Um, so, hmm. I don't know. I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write some of this stuff down, and uh, we'll 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 see where it all goes. So we grab our pen. Okay, uh, so that's an important thing to probably remember. Uh, you know what, I think I'm going to draw a smaller case of this array. Well, we'll do a, uh, you yeah, know, we'll, uh, we'll circle these dots depending on their coloration. So we'll do a 4x4 four four grid and we're going to investigate some stuff. So we are just randomly going to circle it. I'm going to say I have two red dots in the corners. And um, I don't know, let's say four red dots on the sides. And maybe one red dot in the middle. So uh, that means the remaining dots are blue. So we'll 
glue them in. And then we're going to connect and we're going to see what we've got here. So we can connect blue to blue, gives us blue lines. And I think that's it for those ones. And red to red gives us red lines. And then everything else should be a green line. So blue to red, 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 all over the place. Okay. So let's see, I had two red in corner. Four red on sides. One red in the middle, and I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, geez, I lost count. Four of them, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen green lines. Okay. So this is just a possibility. Um, now I'm, I'm guessing that, uh, I, and I already mentioned this, I'm guessing that the actual distribution isn't that important, but knowing reds in the corner, reds on the sides, and reds in the middle, I think matters because Every dot on a corner has only two lines. Dot on the edge has only three lines. And a dot on, uh, on the middle, should be in the middle, but whatever. Has four lines. I think that's why we're told what's on the corner, what's on an edge, and what's uh, in the, the middle there. Okay. So, I'm told that. Now, a red dot... can only have a green line or a red line. Okay. So, if I knew Let's let, uh, let R be the number of red lines. And while we're at it, because we need this, let B be the number of blue lines. I'm only going to work with R for a moment, but we should be able to work B in here somewhere eventually because we want the total number of blue lines. Okay, just double check that is what we wanted, right? Number of blue lines, okay. So R is the total number of uh, red line segments. Actually, I think we were, no, no, we 52 red dots. So we're, we haven't been told how many red lines there are. Okay, that's fine. Um, Okay, so number of red lines. I 
think we're, what we're going to have is sort of a double counting argument. So every red line... gives us two red dots. So that's a total of two R red dots. But the problem is some of them have been counted extra times. Um, so two R red dots. Hmm. Now, I don't think that's what I want. Well, we'll leave it up there. I, I don't think that's quite what I want. Um, so there are two red dots coming from corners. 16 from sides, and we said that there were uh, 34 coming from middles. So there are, well, each corner uh, gives us two, red, uh, two lines ending in a, a red dot. Plus, each one on the side gives us three lines ending in a red dot. Plus, each one in the middle gives us four red line, uh, uh, lines ending in a red dot. So that's, uh, what do we have here? Four plus 48 plus four times 34. Uh, calculator says a total of 188 lines ending in red dots. Okay. Now we're told there are 98 green lines, so 98 of these lines must be green lines. How many red lines should we have? 188 minus 98. But we're counting lines based on their dots. And each red line is counted twice. You know, once for, uh, so if we have, uh, we have a little situation like this, this red line is being counted once for this dot, and then he's being counted again as a line segment ending at this red dot. So we're counting each of them twice. So to get the total number of red lines, we have to divide by two. So we have 45 red lines. OK. I think with a similar reasoning, we can figure out how many blue lines there are. OK. So we have sort of two approaches at this point. We know how many green lines there are. We know how many red lines there are. And we're told it's a 10 by 10 grid. So we could probably figure out the total number of lines overall of any color. Once we add that number, subtract off the number that are green, subtract off the number of red, everything that's left must be blue. Another option is, well, we know how many reds are in the corners, two. And there's four corners, and that means there's going to have to be two blue dots in the corners. Uh, similarly, we could probably figure out how many blue dots are on the edges and on the middles, and then we can go through the exact same reasoning, the exact same reasoning, and uh, figure out how many blue lines. So we'll count up all the lines that end in uh, blue dots. We'll subtract off the 98 that uniquely come from a single blue dot, so the green ones. And then we'll divide by 2 because each of the remaining lines 
is being counted twice because it's got two blue dots at the end. Okay? So there's two options. Either one is fine. I'm going to go with the second one. And I'm going to figure out how many blue dots are there in the corners. How many blue dots are there on the sides? How many blue dots are there in the middle? Okay? And that's what we're going to work out. Both are perfectly good uh, ways to do the, the question. Uh, let's apply. This reasoning to find B the number of blue lines. How many dots are there's a hundred dots in total? Minus fifty two red dots, so that means there's going to be forty eight blue dots. There are four corner dots. Minus two red dots, because there are two red dots in the corners. So there, there are two dot blue dots in the corners. Uh, how many? Uh, there's going to be Eight per sign, there's four sides, so 32 edge dots. And 16 of them are red, and that leaves 16 blue edge dots. And finally, in the middle, it's just an 8 by 8 grid. That's, that's what constitutes the middle, so that's 64 middle dots, and we know there's 34 red middle dots. That leaves a total of 30 blue middle dots. So the number of lines ending in at a blue dot. So once again, we're going to do some double counting. Two for every blue dot in the corner, plus three for each of the 16 blue dots on the edge, plus 30 times four, four dots for every one in the middle. Remember, the middle dots go like this, the edge dots go like this, and the corner dots go like this, two lines each. Okay? <clears throat> so this is a total of uh, 4 plus 48 again, plus 120, so that's 172 lines. <coughs> hmm, sorry. So there are 98 green lines. Each of those corresponds to exactly one blue dot. So we're going to be left with 74 blue lines, and once again, each is counted twice, because you can only have a blue line if you start and end at a blue dot. So we need to divide by 2, B to 74 over 2, because we're counting each of them twice, and that's going to be 37 blue dots. 37 is one of the answers. There it is. It's B. So B is going to be the last answer on the 2001 Fairmath paper. Very nice. Uh, and in total, we have a 98 plus 45 plus... 37, so we have 180 dots in total. That's probably something we could have worked out uh, on our own. So we would have, so if we'd gotten done the other way, we would have uh, worked out uh, so four corner dots, each of them having two, plus uh, 32 
corner has edge dots, each of them having three line segments, plus 64 uh, middle dots, each of them having four line segments. So that's 8 plus uh, 96 plus 256 for a total of 360 lines, but uh, Each is counted twice because we're counting each of them by their endpoints. So 180, or sorry, 360 over 2, which is 180. Lines overall, we have 98 green, uh, and we learned that there were 45 red. And that's 37 blue. So that would be the other way to have done it. Not as much writing, but that's because I'm not really trying to explain this method. But this is my our second way of doing it. Two excellent ways to do it. Both of them give us 37 as our final answer. So we're all the more confident. And that wraps up the 2001 Fairmap paper. Um, stay tuned for, well, I guess, after so grade 11. So we're going to go on to the uh, 2001 Euclid. But, of course, if you're looking for more formats, uh, the, the 2002 will be up uh, sometime in the future. So you can look for that, and uh, feel free to browse and take a look at any other videos. And, yeah, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be.